Hi guys and welcome to my channel Calm with Creativity. Today I'm going to be showing you three simple DIYs that are just really quick fixes if you haven't got around to buying or making some Halloween decor and they're just really cute I think and really simple and really quick and yeah. So let's hop right into it. To make this DIY cauldron candle you will need a small jar, some pliers, wire and black spray paint. You want to start by wrapping the wire around the lip of the jar to make a handle. To do this you start at a point, wrap the wire halfway around the jar, then go up and over and reach back to the first point. Secure these two together by creating two loops and take the end around the other side of the jar back to the other point and secure. Then you just need to spray paint. And there we are. To make this garland you will first need some orange wool, a pom pom maker, green pipe cleaners and some scissors. You want to start by wrapping wool around both sides of the pom pom maker to create your pom pom. Then you want to cut around and slip a piece of wool through the edges of the pom pom maker in the middle and tie it firmly. Now I am adding a small section of pipe cleaner by folding it in half and tying it over the knot I just tied. And there we are. I made five of these before moving on to ghosts. For this you will need white wool, a glue stick and googly eyes. You want to start by making a basic tassel by wrapping the wool repeatedly around your fingers and attaching the wool to the top and around the wool near the top before cutting the loops at the bottom and releasing the tassel. After that you simply want to glue your googly eyes on. I made six of these in total and I alternated between the pumpkin and the ghost when securing them to a piece of wool to create my garland. And there we are. treat mug you will need a plain black mug, some sticky back plastic or contact, some scissors and a pencil and some copper spray paint. To start with you want to cut out two identical triangles and a jaggedy mouth shape from the sticky back plastic before arranging and sticking them however you would like on your mug. Then you simply want to spray paint it. Once painted peel off the sticky back plastic to reveal your design. You may need to neaten up the edges a bit, but this is easy to scrape away using a craft knife. And then simply fill with your favourite sweets and enjoy. And there we are. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I had such fun making it and I just think that these are such cool little DIYs that just, I don't know, make a room feel that bit more in the festive spirit, festive for Halloween I mean, not, yeah, but yeah, so if you like this video make sure to subscribe so that you're notified when I upload new content and yeah, thanks for watching guys, bye! Hi guys and welcome to my channel.